In this video we're going to have a look at framing and the different ways to do it including things like junctions, jams, ribbon plate and just how we're thinking through this when we're putting a recipe together for it. So I'm in my Build Exact account and I'm using the Frame Carpenter category but obviously you can put yours wherever you like. I'm going to add three, in fact, new lines. Oops, third one. And of these three, two are going to be recipes and one is going to be a single line. So I'm going to have framing at, let's say, uh, we'll say framing 2.7 by 450. I'm going to have um, junctions and jams. And I'm going to have ribbon plate. Oops, cancel. Going to have ribbon plate. Top two are going to be recipes. Bottom one is going to be just a single cost line, which I'll put in the cost now. So 650, that's going to be 90 by 45. Put it in the right box, that'll be helpful. And basically the way it's going to structure is this main frame is going to do all framing um, with a single plate on top. This is going to account for all the individual junctions and jams that I need to count up. And this is going to add the ribbon plate to anything that needs to be load bearing. Now, this is my approach to doing it. Um, and it follows or it mirrors the uh, approach that we have if you go to explore and the FAQs. There's a, a framing, how to do framing article. And it mirrors that. That said, I have absolutely seen people uh, I'll just separate this with a bit of a line here. I've absolutely seen people go internal, external, and then junctions and jams. So grab it, do what you need to. Um, in the second example, one recipe would be with double plates, one would be with single, and then the third recipe would just be junctions and jams. So really just to say um, the way I'm showing you now is my preference and if you grab this and run with it and do something different that's entirely uh, entirely up to you. Beautiful well let's jump into it. The first part is just the main frame so it's going to be measured per lineal meter and in this I'm going to put a few items in but you can ultimately put in whatever you like. Um, so I'm putting top plate, 9045, uh, 650 a meter. I copy and paste a lot, um, mainly because it's easy. Bottom plate, 9045, 650. Notice I could definitely pull from a price list. I'm, I'm not in this case though. Uh, Nogs, I'm going to say 9045 just because for consistency, but obviously they might not be. And studs at 2.7 uh, and what I need to do here is I'm actually going to go and give uh, a price per stud so what I'm actually going to do is quickly pull up a calculator just because I want to figure out what the cost is that goes into this box so we're going 650 per meter times 2.7 so each stud costs uh, 17.55 Now, the first three are really straightforward because the top plate, the bottom plate, the nogs all lie flat. So in one meter of wall, there is a meter of each of those. Nogs will be a little less than a meter, but I'm not too concerned. I just go a meter. Um, I've definitely seen people do uh, a fraction less than a meter if they want to be spot, spot on. Studs is where it gets interesting and where people start to get confused a bit, but it's very much like what I'm sure you've done a thousand times working out number of studs. So I'm going to go calculator and go one divided by 450. In the past, I would be absolutely certain in saying that you've gone through and measured a whole house and said something like, you know, 150, 150 meters or 180 meters or whatever divided by the spacing gives you 
a certain number of studs. The only difference here is we only care about one meter at a time when we're doing these recipes uh, because the basis of every single recipe is that all of this stuff down here fits into one of these, whether it be a lineal meter or a square meter or what have you. So when we're figuring this out, we only care about one meter right now. And that gives me 2.22222 studs per meter at 1755 each. And that's it. If I go and measure this, which I will, using my method, I go and measure all internal and external walls. I'm just going to change this to be yellow because I think it's easier to see. Um, and just a, a point here, if, you've not, if you're not super familiar with this takeoff side of it, there's heaps of videos on takeoffs specifically. But I just did a polygon around there. And I'm now filling in the um, basically the internal walls or the extra bits with single lines, and I'm turning these labels off. Get all those perfect. That was less than perfect that last one, but it'll be okay. And that one, that one, beautiful. So that's all my walls taken care of. That gives me. 169, basically 170 studs, 76 meters of all the plates and nogs, or 58 bucks a meter um, for frame. I am going to go close, move on to the next one, which is junctions and jams. And the thinking here is that, I'll jump out of it for half a second, this recipe is awesome um, for just the studs that are in a, in a row. Um, and while people definitely will go and add extra studs here to account for junctions and jams and things, the most exact way to do this is to actually count how many junctions uh, and jams there are. Uh, the thinking here is that if you had a square box of a house, um, it would have four junctions. And if you did it on averages to work out those extra studs, you'd be way over the top. Versus if you have a really complex house, you can try and average those junctions out and be way under. So the most exact way is always to count them, and it's not hard at all. All you've got to do is go each. So each junction contains uh, studs at 2.7, and I'm going to say there is two studs, and I'm going to use the price that we used in the previous one, which stretching my memory a bit here I think it was $17.50 I'll just say it was that uh, so that's the cost per stud and basically this leaves me with the takeoff part of it so it's using the counting or each tool simply because this is what the recipe is built in and I'm going to go around and go one two three four Oops, that one was a bit rubbish. And you can pretty quickly get the idea what I'm doing here. There we go, beautiful. So pretty quick once you get the hang of it. Uh, the, reason I say, the reason I say junctions and jams together is this recipe is adding two extra studs. And if you think about it, a small window um, will have potentially uh, two studs, so one on either side. And you can, obviously, as I said with other, other recipe videos, you will know your building better than me. Um, so take this second part with a grain of salt and, um, and use it if it fits your method. But what I'm doing is basically going window, window, each window gets two extra studs. And if I come across a really large opening, which I don't really have a good example for, then I would, I'll do this one. I would go two ends and basically two studs, two studs. And the crux of it is just, as long as you know how it's thinking, you can use this uh, to, uh, to make your life pretty easy. Accept and save. And that gives me 70 extra studs. 
close that. Lucky last, this is just the additional top plate that I want to put on. It's 650 a meter, and this is a very straightforward takeoff where, in my case, I would just be doing load bearing walls or external walls. And as I've said probably several times now, uh, you will know better than us where these go, but I'm just going to do external for now. So 48 extra meters. And between this line, this line, and this line, um, that takes up most of my frame. Extra things like lintels, beams, uh, will be on top of this, but this is uh, a, a big majority of, of the frame that you want to do, and it's a really quick, easy way to do it. Beautiful. Hope that helps. Uh, any questions, let us know.